Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to create a custom fuel file that you can use in your recorder wave engine simulation. Let's get started. Now first you need to go and navigate to the model properties in recorder wave and if you go to the properties window you will see in the fluid properties we have a fuel file that can be specified either by a tag or by a fuel file location. And if I select the fuel file location, you can see there's a little folder which you can click to show Recorder Wave where your fuel file is located on your hard drive. You will also see there's a little plus button where you can create a fuel file, but I do not recommend using it because um, its success rate varies. And we're gonna use a different method, which I can guarantee you always generates the file correctly. So I'm just gonna go back to the tag and let's have a look at all the different fuel files that Ricardo Wave has made available for you to use. So I'm gonna expand this dropdown and you can see there's a list of a lot of different fuels that you can use for your simulation. We even have here a binary blend of E85, which consists of 85% ethanol and 15% of gasoline. But what happens if you want to create a different fuel file? For instance, a mixture between diesel and biodiesel or just 30% ethanol in your gasoline mixture. What then? Well, then you need to create it yourself. And we can do that using the command prompt. Right, so I have just opened up the command prompt and you can see it's currently showing the C drive. And we need to point it to the correct folder, which has the data files of the three different components that we're gonna to use to create our fuel blend. Now at the bottom, you can see there's my folder with my three components, dead files, diesel, ethanol, and fame, which is by diesel. Now we can go and we can click on the little folder icon to get the full file path to this folder. We can go and copy it. And then in the command prompt, we type in CD, change directory, and we can paste the directory path into the command prompt. Then we press enter and you will see it has updated to our folder path. We can also go and just verify that we are in fact in the correct folder by listing all the items in our folder with the command directory or DIR. And there you can see there's our three dat files, so we are in the correct location. Next up is now to go and start the command to build our fuel file. Now we want to create a ternary blend, meaning it's got three components, diesel, biodiesel and ethanol. And I want to create a ternary blend which consists of 2% biodiesel and 9% of ethanol, and the rest will be made up from the diesel component. It's also known as a B2E9 fuel blend. The first thing we need to do is to type in the command build fuel, then space and dash D, which just indicates that your data files are going to follow now. And then in any order that you want, you can go and type out the names of the data files that you want to use. So I'm going to use the diesel data file, I'm going to use the ethanol data file, and I'm going to use the biodiesel data file, which is the fame data file. Next, we type in dash F, which just specifies that we are going to indicate the fractions of each component of the for the final blend. Now this needs to be fractions, so they all need to add up to one. So we've specified the diesel data file first, so we need to specify the fraction of its component. So because I said it's a B2E9 blend that I want to create, it means that 0.89 is going to be the fraction of the diesel component of the fuel. So we're going to go 0.89. Next is our ethanol, which is going to be 9%. So that's 0.09. And then lastly is the biodiesel, which is 2%. So that's 0.02. And then we do dash P and we give the name of the fuel file that we want it to be. So in our case, I said it's going to be B2E9. So I'm just going to keep with that fuel file name, B2E9. And now we press enter. All right, so a lot of things happened, so I'm just gonna go and expand it a bit so we can go and have a look what just occurred. So after I pressed enter, you can see that is given us a little bit of a summary and you can see our three blend components, 89% diesel, 9% ethanol, 2% biodiesel. And then it gives us a little bit of a mean molecular composition, just stating the components of the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen components. So you can see there's a little bit of oxygen which is uh, caused by the ethanol and the biodiesel. And then there's a bunch of other information. And right at the end, you can see the progress 100%. It's completed successfully. And it's output files, our fuel file, which is what we want, and two other files that we don't need to worry about right now. 
So it's created the fuel file, which is great. We can also have a look at the folder and you can see it has in fact been added to our folder. We can see there is our b2e9.fuel. Now that's great. Let's try creating another one. Maybe this time let's just do a binary fuel blend with two components. All right, so again, we start off with just the command build fuel. We're gonna say dash D for the data files. And I'm going to create a B7 binary blend, which is essentially the diesel that you fill your car up with at the gas station, which is quite nice. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the dat files. I'm gonna start off with the diesel file. So again, diesel.dat and then fame.dat. Those are the two dat files that I'm gonna use. And then next we're gonna say the fraction, so dash F. And because I said it's a B7, meaning that doing some math means the diesel component is 0 0.93. Yeah, 0 0.93. And our fame is gonna be 0.077%. Then we're just gonna say dash P. And we're gonna give it the name B7 denoting 7% biodiesel in the binary blend. I'm going to press enter. And it successfully outputted our fuel file. And if we go up, we need to expand this folder a bit. We can see there is our b7.fuel file. So that's done successfully. Well done. We have created our custom fuel files for the use in Ricardo Wave. Now, if we go back to our uh, engine model and we can go and change this specified by and we can change it to fuel file we can now go and direct Ricardo wave to this fuel file that we want to use and there you can see is my two fuel files I've just created so I'm just gonna go and say p7 just gonna open it up and it's been updated and you can see fuel file or fuel type 1 is b7 so your model is now ready to go using this new fuel file now you can investigate what B7 does on engine performance, emissions, or any other metric that you're interested in. Now, I can already hear you saying that, that's great, but where do I get this DAT file? Do I need to create it myself? Can I download it somewhere from the internet? Now, the nice thing is that Ricardo Wave actually provides these DAT files with the installation of Ricardo Wave. And to get it, you need to navigate to Program Files, to, Ricardo, to the Ricardo folder, select the version that you're interested in, here it's 2019.1. Then you need to go to the comments, common folder, property, data, fuels. And you'll find a list of all the fuel files that's usually um, used when you point to it with the use of the tag option, as well as all the data files of that corresponding fuel files. So you can go and use any data files to create your own custom fuel blend. You can see here's the diesel, the ethanol, and the famed dat files that I just used for this demonstration. All right, and that is it. That is how you go and create a custom fuel file for your purposes in Ricardo Wave. Let me know what uh, fuel files you've created and what you are investigating. I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.